and plug the sign in and check the power supplies. So the bottom half works. Some signs will have two power supplies on them, which have two pull chains. This one has one pull chain on the top. That one doesn't appear to be working, and this one has one on the bottom. So the, there's actually two power supplies on it. So if the, all of the glass works and the, and the power supply seems to have failed, in order to change that power supply, unplug your sign first, find out where the transformer leads go, the, the leads coming out of the power supply, the first one is up here. Um, hang on to the glass and slide the electrical cap off from that. Take your wires and, and disconnect from the glass. They're, they're just twisted together. The other lead comes down here and runs to this end of this bulb. I'm going to take this sleeve off also. Untwist the wires. Now that we have both leads off of the transformer, um, we need to get to the power source. It's on the back of the sign, which is this one, top one that we disconnected. That power supply is here. We remove the screws that attach that power supply. The power supply should come off as one unit. We'll have the new power supply should go back on the exact same way as the old one. There are several different manufacturers of power supply, we recommend that you use the same manufacturer of power supply that you that comes off from that sign. Um, that power supply needs to be grounded to have your sign perform properly, so you need to make sure um, that you're using the exact same power supply you take off from the sign. So when we remove the two leads, this left side came over here to so this electrode. We'll cut that wire to the right length. Strip it about an inch or an inch and a half on there. Bring it up securely, fasten the two wires, the wire from the glass and the wire from the power supply. Twist it, bend it back on itself. Slide the insulator boot over the top, hold on to the glass as you do that so you don't push on the glass. The other part comes up and goes up on the top bulb. Don't leave a lot of excess wire, just leave all that you need to make the connection. Put that wire to length. Strip it about an inch or an inch and a half again. Make sure you twist the wires securely. Slide your insulating boot back over the wires. Reconnect the power supply. If there's two transformers, there'll be two power supplies and two switches switch on the top one and the bottom one. Check your sign, bring it back up, and plug it back into the power source. Again, replace the transformer with the same manufacturer of transformer from a 
voltage or an output standpoint to a grounding standpoint, you should replace with the same manufacturer's transformer that was on the sign when you originally purchased it.